sixth grade, module four, lesson 16, classwork. Opening exercise, underline the keywords in each statement. A, the sum of twice B and five. So we're just underlining the keywords or the words that we listed um, in the diagram that we did in the lesson 15. So we're looking for any words that tell us whether we should be multiplying, dividing, adding, or subtracting. So the sum, sum is a keyword of twice b and five. So twice b would tell us that we need to do two times b, and sum tells us that we need to add. The quotient of c and d. So the quotient would be our keyword because it's telling us to divide. a raised to the fifth power. So the word power tells us that it's an exponent, then increased by the product of five and C. So increase tells, tells us to add and product tells us to multiply. The quantity, so that means we're gonna keep something together, A and plus B, A plus B, divided by four. 10 less than, so we're gonna be subtracting the product, product means multiply of 15 and C. Five times D and then increased by eight. Okay, so now we're gonna look at all of those again and we're gonna actually write them out as expressions. So the sum of twice B and five. So we know we have sum of twice B. So I'm gonna start with twice B. So that would be two B or say two times B and five and we're finding the sum, so that means we're adding. So 2b plus five. The quotient of c and d. So quotient means that we're dividing. So you could either do c over d or c divided by d. a raised to the fifth power and then increased by the product of five and c. So a raised to the fifth power, so a to the fifth power, increased by means we're adding the product of five and c. So five times c, or we can just leave it as five c. The quantity of a plus b, so we want a plus b to stay together, so we could put it in parentheses, divided by four. Or you could write it as a plus b over four. Either one would be correct. And then we have 10 less than the product of 15 A and C. So 10 less, which means we're going to be subtracting, but I don't want to do 10 minus because it's meaning that at what we have at the end, we're going to subtract 10. So the product of 15 and C would be 15 times C or 15 C and then 10 less than that. So minus 10. 5 times d and then d increased by 8. So 5 times d would just be 5d. Increased by means we're adding 8. Mathematical modeling exercise 2. Model how to change each real world scenario to an expression using variables and numbers. Underline the text to show the keywords before writing the expression. Okay, so we're going to underline first and then we're going to show. Um, the real world scenario with an expression. So Marcus has four more dollars than Yassine. So he has four more. Underline more. If Y is the amount of money Yassine has, write an expression to show how much money Marcus has. So Marcus has four more dollars than Yassine, or we're just going to use Y in the expression. So Marcus would be equal to Y, Yassine, plus four. Mario, or yeah, Mario is missing half of his assignments. If A represents the number of assignments, write the, an expression to show how many assignments Mario is missing. So he's missing half. So there are multiple ways we can do this. We could say, um, so A is the assignments. We could do A divided by two. So we're taking half of it. We could do A over two, because those mean the same things. Or we could say one half times A. 
half of a. So all three of those would be an expression. Camilla's weight has tripled since her first birthday. If W represents the amount Camilla weighed on her first birthday, write an expression to show how much Camilla weighs now. So she has tripled since her first birthday. So that means times three. If W represents the amount that she weighed on her first birthday, so W is her weight on her first birthday, you do three times W or just simplify it to three W. Nathan brings cupcakes to school and gives them to his five best friends who share them equally. If C represents the number of cupcakes Nathan brings to school, write an expression to show how many cupcakes each of his friends received. So C is the number of cupcakes and he gives them to his five best friends who share them equally. So they're splitting them equally or dividing between five people. So the number of cupcakes split into five people would be C divided by five, or you could write it as C over five. Mrs. Marcus combines her atlases and dictionaries and then divides them among 10 different tables. If A represents the number of atlases and D represents the number of dictionaries Mrs. Marcus has, write an expression to show how many books would be on each table. Okay, so what she does, she combines, meaning that we're going to find the atlases and dictionaries together, or add them together, and then she divides among 10 different tables. So A is atlases and D is dictionaries, so we're going to do A atlases plus dictionaries. We add them together first, so I'm going to keep them together. And then she divides them among 10 different tables. So divided by 10. Or we could do A plus D over 10. Both are the same expression. To improve in baseball, in basketball, Ivan's coach told him that he needs to take four times as many free throws and four times as many jump shots every day. If F represents the number of free throws and J represents the number of jump shots Ivan shoots daily, write an expression to show how many shots he will need to take in order to improve in basketball. So four times as many free throws and, so four times, four times, and we're gonna combine those. So he need, I'm gonna say and because we're putting those together. So he needs four times his free throws and, so I'm going to add, let's keep those together, four times his jump shots. We could simplify that and just have to say four, oops, four free throws plus four times jump shots. Exercises. Mark the text by underlining keywords and then write an expression using variables and or numbers for each state. B decreased by, so decreased by means subtract, and C squared is an exponent. So we're going to do B minus C squared. Number two, 24 divided by product of 2 and a. So 24 divided by the product of 2 and a, or 2 times a, which we can just leave as 2a. Or we could do 24 over 2a. 150 decreased by, that means subtract the quantity, that means we're going to keep them together, 6 plus b. So 150 minus the quantity of 6 plus b. The sum means we're adding of twice c and 10. So twice c, 2c plus 10. Marlowe had $35 but then spent M dollars. So he had this much and then he spent 
M dollars. So that means we're going to subtract. So we had 35 and they spent M. Samantha saved her money and was able to quadruple the original amount M. So she was able to quadruple the original amount M. So she has four times M or four M. Veronica increased, so probably added, her grade by G, her grade G by four points, then doubled it, so times two. So she increased G plus four, then doubled it. So we need to find times two of that. So I'm just gonna put a two on the outside, so double G plus four. Adbel had M pieces of candy and ate five of them. Then he split the remaining candy equally among four friends. So he had M pieces and eight, meaning he's gonna subtract them. So M, then he ate five. Then he split the remaining candy among four friends. So he took this quantity and split it equally among four friends. So divided by four. So another word would be split. You could write it also as M minus five over four. To find out how much paint is needed, Mr. Jones must square the side length. So square of the gate and then subtract 15. So he needs to square the side length S. So we're gonna have S squared and then subtract 15. And number 10, Lewis brought X cans of cola to the party, Faith brought D cans of cola, and Deshaun brought H cans of cola. How many cans did they bring all together? So we're just gonna add them all. So we have X plus D plus H. 